This is the rumor report. I knew I can talk my shit on the Breakfast Club. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in my mental health process, but I am cocked and loaded. Charlemagne's favorite baddie, Natalie Nunn, is in the news today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, she was over in D.C. Not sure what she was doing. Maybe she was booked and busy, but she went to D.C. recently, and she tried to get in a restaurant. I guess she had a... a, a what do you call that? Reservation? She had yep, a reservation reservations. at the park. Now, the park is a very popular spot over in D.C. Mm-hmm. She went for a dinner, and uh, apparently they didn't let her in, and this is what she said on social media. I had a table reserved, and when I walked up, they said, anyone that's affiliated with the Zeus Network, we don't care. We don't like what you guys represent. We don't like your TV shows. I gave them my American Express card on file earlier to book a table. They said I could not come in because they don't like the black network that I work for. Who is the owner? Because he's not black, I promise you. I was just in D.C. this weekend, and I went to the park twice in the same day. I love the park. They were fine with me. By the way, the I think park the owner is, is black. 100% black-owned. No, no, yeah, no, I don't know no, if it's 100% black-owned, but it's black-owned. It's definitely black-owned. The park but, is a black-owned restaurant. That and, is, I, I'm, I'm not the highest grade weed in the dispensary, and I know that. Yeah, it is. Like The park is black-owned. Well, listen, and, and shout-out to the staff there. Everybody there was polite, and uh, maybe they just didn't want you in there, Nally, because y'all be tearing shit, stuff, stuff. Y'all be tearing stuff up. I mean, that's true. I mean, I, I, I don't know if that is the case, but, you know, if you're coming in there and you might have cameras and stuff like that, they may not want that in their they business. Well, not only that, if they seen you on TV and they seen you in other establishments and mm-hmm. they seen you do things in other establishments and you don't want that in your establishment, you have the right to be like, no, I don't want you in my spot. Is that a reason to refuse service, yes. though? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. There's people, Jocelyn Hernandez can't come to the Jason Lee show for what? To tear it up? Yeah, nah. but the Jason Lee show is your own, I mean, that's their own personal business, too. But I wonder if she wanted to sue, which I doubt she would, but if she wanted to, is that something that would hold up in court? I just didn't want them in here because I don't like what they represent on TV. If there's proof of that they effed up other establishments and I don't want that in my establishment, well, I don't see why not. You know, y'all, y'all not lawyers. Well, it also well, it mm-hmm. also doesn't make sense. It's almost like the the the, the fat girls who want to sue Lizzo because she said they were fat. She's fat too. You that doesn't make sense. So the black owned people said black people on black networks. Fat girls suing Lizzo because they fat. Yes, they said she fat shamed them or was discriminating. Oh, I forgot all. Of, God damn, you right. That was when was that? Last year, right? Yeah, nobody remembers it because we don't believe it. Just like we don't believe this, Nally. I love you though, and shout out to Lemuel because he keeps us in conversation. Like this next. Group of people, blue face. Boy, before we do, let's <laughs> we we gonna discuss that next hour, so we can get on the phone lines. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Do you think it was foul that the rest of the establishment, the park, did not let Natalie Nunn and her crew in there to, I guess, have lunch or club time, whatever it may be? Do you think it's foul? I don't. But and if, you know, and if you know somebody from the black owned establishment, the park, or if you're from the park, call up too. Yeah, we'd love to talk yeah. to you, and we'll have that discussion uh, in a couple of minutes. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Especially the servers, because they cute over there. All right. Well, speaking of Zeus... Male or female, I'm just... Male. Okay. All the girls were cute, too. Everybody there was really nice <laughs> to me. Jason. Gotta ask you. Everybody there was cute. Okay. They were all nice <laughs> to me. Gotta ask with you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, now, Blueface is also in the news. Uh, him and both his baby moms... Well, we don't know if Krishan's pregnant. She alleged that on the Jason Lee show. But Blueface says that he had to rescue his son after Krishan Rock allegedly was seen out with another man. Now... After remaining uh, pretty quiet, everybody's favorite trio, Blueface, Jay and Alexis, and Krishan Rock are setting the internet back on fire again. Yesterday, Blueface claimed that he had to rescue his son because Krishan was allegedly out with another man. Of course, he went live on Instagram to share that with us, and this is what he said. It's crazy. My son ain't got no parent at 4 in the morning. Nobody want to watch him. She got Marsh. She got Marsh watching the baby at 4 in the morning so she could what? Get some Do a verse All this so you could do a verse, suck some you a bull My son ain't got no parent. Four in the morning. Stopping us. Because she want to be a, a, a bad parent to a bad parent. She want to be a okay, yes. Close door, yeah, close the door. Let's go, Marsh. You going to get your ass whipped soon as we get there. Come on. Jaden got a good fade waiting for you, Marsh. Let's go. Jaden got a fade like Tessa. Come on, girl. Let's go. If you going to get out, I'm going to drag you out, Marsh. I'm going to put this baby down and put you to bed. All right. Now, in the video. Translate for me, Jason. I don't speak nigga like I used to. <laughs> Basically say, if you don't get in here, you going to put hands on her, allegedly. Well, mm. in the video, he, the uh, Krishan's friend is seen getting in the front seat, and he's holding the baby outside at 4 in the morning. Now, uh, we don't know where Krishan was, whether she was out. She has a new man. Um, I don't know if she was with him or in the studio making another hit, because it is a vibe all the time. She eventually came uh, to and got online and, and talk, told her side of the story, and this is what she said. 
So long story short, I'm at the studio and I'm trying to lay this record down. My BD's calling me, calling me. I'm like, what is he calling me for? So I don't answer for real. I finally picked the f up. This f is with Marsh. Oh, so I'm like, Marsh, what's up? She's like, Sean, you at the studio, right? I'm like, yeah, what's up? Blueface, Blueface just trying to take the baby. He's taking the baby. I said, bro, if you leave my baby, it's your ass. Till I get back home from the studio. Long story short, Blueface beat me to my house before I even can get to my son. Try to take my son. Marsh ain't leaving his side. So Jaden was standing by the really like smash on Marsh while they at the gate. I'm like, all that shit, bro. Before my baby even make it to that term oil, I'm finna pull up. So while Marsh stalling for me, getting her ass beat by Blueface, after he made that recording, he trashed her. Cause I can show you Marsh face, she got slits on her mouth and her face, her eye. Now, for those of you that are puzzled, Jaden Alexis is the mother to two of Blueface's kids who are, who's, who has the Barbie song. Uh, and then Krishan was the girlfriend that entered the picture later. And I just interviewed- Who's Marsh? Marsh is Krishan's friend. Okay. Who now, Krishan's a legend, Blueface put hands on her. So now, uh, I just interviewed Jaden Alexis and Blueface together who were not messing with Krishan, and now Krishan by herself. But now Krishan and Jayna are riding in the car together. They had over 200,000 people on their live yesterday watching this all go down. Well, it didn't end there. They all then got together at Krishan's house and went live. Blueface went live from Krishan's phone. The house they got They were to all in the house together after to all that? Yes, and it went down where he's alleging like they were trying to rape him. This is what he said. So y'all kicking me out of the group? What? Come on, girl. Let me tell you get off live before you want to talk about something. Bro, stop! Don't chase me. Don't. Why are you doing all this on the. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Get off live. Wait. Ooh, she's going to do a video. All live. And that way. That way. Alright, you want to act up? I'm not acting up. You want to act up? Nope, nobody's doing my, This is for my safety at this point. Okay. Y'all in here trying to molest me. Y'all in here trying to take advantage of a crib. You, you, yeah, you already beat us up, so why would we care? Where's my Palo Santo? You bust her lip, you bust our ass, why would we care? Where's my sage? Now what? Well, they're alleging that he put hands on them too. I mean, my, con my, crystals? my concern is where's the baby? Man, Marsh. Oh. Well, Marsh was allegedly beat up too. I don't know. I, I call Blueface no answer. Jason, Envy, everybody out there listening, mm -hmm. let us pray. Put your heads down. We say right. a prayer for us. Heads down. God, grant me the serenity to accept the niggas I cannot change, <laughs> the, courage, the courage to change the niggas I can, mm -hmm. and the wisdom to know when to stay far away from these niggas. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, mm -hmm. I called Lemio and said, we want to see Crazy in Love 2, T-O-O with all three of them. See? You don't know how to stay away from these <laughs> niggas. That's your problem, Jason. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. <laughs> right. Or nigga report. Whatever you want to call it. Now, Charlamagne. Jesus Christ, man. What? You got something positive in the donkey today? Something that's no, not as good? No, I don't. <laughs> I absolutely positively do. So where are we going? We need Melvin Wright to come to the front of the congregation. Melvin! Okay, there's some heavy niggatry at work. <laughs> Melvin! We're still going to play a game of guess what race it is. Oh, I know. Just for the fun of it. As soon as you said the name is Melvin, <laughs> I figured that out. Melvin! All right, well, we going to come. And is Melvin from Florida? No, he's not. He's from Ohio. No. Same thing. <laughs> Damn it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.